Hi everyone and welcome today. My name is Du. Today we're going to talk about how to save your Canby files and how to share them and a couple maybe extra little features. All right. So from here, what we're going to do is just look at this fine document that we have. Give it a nice name up top. Very similar to most document editors. And I'm going to have this as assignment 101 and that's going to be the name. And now what I'm going to do is look at the top options bar. I, I also have the zoom in, zoom out in case I need to do anything specific as far as viewing. Of course, I can always open files right away if I need to. I have this share document and a couple of different ways that you can share. You can actually embed this document or copy it and it'll take people right to your Cam, the Cami app and the Cami view. And of course, there's some editing features that you have here that can be similar to probably what you're used to with Google. And of course, uh, extra things would be to include your annotations or to just leave them off. It's entirely up to you. And of course, if you want more collaboration options, collaborate, you can allow collaborators to download and print this file that you've made. So those are some sharing options there. All you need to do is copy that link and we'll see what it looks like in an incognito window. All right, so as you uh, copy that right there, it's gonna allow your whoever you want to go ahead and sign in with Google. And the view will be very similar to this Cami view right here as you're looking at it right now. You have the option to print up top with original or with your new annotations, whatever you'd like. And of course, if you are weary of saving, if the Cami Cloud Sync is on like it is right here, you can, uh, not worry about it because it will automatically save any changes. You can see that I've, I've 19 minutes ago, I made some changes. I can upload this right to the Google Drive if I want, and it will live right in my Google Drive, and I can find it there, so it's nice in one place. Of course, I can also download. If I click on download, I can download this to my computer or to my Google Drive with no annotations at all, with annotations, or just the annotations only. Keep in mind, whatever your file name is, it'll have Cami export up top. So if you don't want that in front of it, just delete it. And then you'll have your nice naming convention there without any Cami export in the front of it. You have the option to select a folder if you want in your Google Drive. You have the option to flatten the annotations so they look a little bit nicer as far as right into the PDF and then that is just for aesthetics and of course uh, different type of pages that you can pick and if i begin to export it's going to be very quick to put right into my google drive and i can start to search for it as well i can open the google drive right here and it should show me my cami uploads folder and all the things that i've uploaded all right and if you look at the set of menus right here, there are some additional options that you can go through. We'll talk about split and merge document in another video, and of course, scanning for OCR in another video. And there are a ton of other things that you can go ahead and explore in the three bars right here. And of course, your settings would be right in the upper right. You've got dark mode, I currently have it on. If you don't like that, you can change it back. There's settings and you can look at billing and license right there. Okay, that's been how to save and share Cami documents and some extra little features in there for you. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you.